Hi, my name is Kopka Upachrekit from German Aerospace Center, DLR, Institute of Data Science. Today, I would like to demonstrate the tool for extracting information from technical data sheets. Let's start with our motivating scenario. In a spacecraft design mission, engineers from multi-discipline are working concurrently. They use a model-based system engineering tool. Real-world objects are represented as building blocks, which one can adjust their properties and connect to other building blocks. Currently, the process of assigning properties to each building block is done manually, which is boring, time-consuming, and error-prone, especially when there are hundreds of parts to choose. Our solution is to implement a tool that assists users to intuitively annotate the data sheets. This can be done by any user once and the information will be stored and reused later in the community. The shared information should be reviewed and editable by other users. We implemented Datasheets Annotation Tool, or DSAT. In DSAT, users can annotate data sheets. A login is required to control and access to data sheets. Existing data sheets are grouped by category. An annotation is a key value pair. Users can select the keys and values directly in the PDF display area. You can also add a remark or provide a comment. You can also edit or remove the existing annotations. You can save your progress and continue your work anytime. If we can annotate some data sheets, why can't we train the system to do the tasks automatically? The answer is yes and no. As you can see from the sample data sheets, there is no unified description format. Also, the number of properties are varied. Plus, there is still a terminology issue. Different companies might call the same property with different name. Thus, we decide to use ontology as a semantic knowledge base, which is also extensible. The developed spacecraft path ontology has an hierarchical structure. At the bottom level, a base ontology, we define basic classes such as part type and property type. In the middle, core ontology, we define commonly used properties of spacecraft parts. On the top level, this is where we have multiple ontologies separated by categories. Each category has definitions of properties unique to the category. Based on the previous solution, we add the ontology-based information extractor between the DSAT and the knowledge base, and this extractor is called CONTRON. CONTRON, Continuously Trained Ontology, is a system that extracts information from data sheets and improve ontologies with external semantic knowledge base, such as Wikidata. The enriched ontologies are used by the information extractor as a list of properties to search in data sheets. The detected properties, along with their corresponding values, are extracted. However, the accuracy and coverage of the detected property value pairs are not yet satisfactory. So, we need a human in the loop process to help providing feedback to the system. The information extractor should also learn from the human correction in order to improve the process further. We can reuse our DSAT as an interface for human in the loop process. In addition to the manual process, we provide an auto detect key value pairs feature. The extraction of data especially on the natural language sentences, might contain mistakes. Some keys are not recognized because the ontology has no information about it yet. The user should reveal the auto-detected data again. Additionally, CONTRON also improves the ontology with external information in the same time. However, the detail of ontology enrichment process is out of scope here. But it is worth to note that when the ontology contains more information, the information extraction will perform better. Currently, the ontology is updated without graphical user interface. This means the correction of ontology is still lacking of intuitive approach. Finally, 
we may create a knowledge graph from the extracted information for further applications. Thank you for your attention. And